Greetings family, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorin. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says, be careful. This person is an emotional blackmailer. God says, be careful. This person is an emotional blackmailer. This word is coming to someone. You are close to somebody. And this person wants to have their way all the time. They want to control you all the time. Every time they tell you, they make a demand. How are you going to know this word is for you? Because you know there is someone around you. Every time they make a demand and you seem to be resistant, whether directly or indirectly, if they ask for something and then they realize that thing is not forthcoming, they realize you are not angst, you, are, you are not responding positively or you are not doing what they asked of you. The very next thing that will happen is, they, 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 they start pressurizing you and they start pressurizing you in a good way. They start by telling you this thing will make me very happy. If you buy this for me, it will make me very happy. I will be glad if you do this. If you don't do this, it will hurt me. And they give you reasons why you should do what they want you to do. And the moment they realize you are still resistant, the next thing that follows is threat. They begin to threaten you either directly or indirectly. So if so, you, you are not going to do this for me. If you don't do this for me, then you don't care about me. I'm leaving you. If you don't do this for me, then I quit. If you don't do this for me, it's over. So they, they begin to threaten you. And since you don't want to lose them, you are going to succumb to it and you are going to do what what they wanted god says the more the longer this person stays with you they've done that before and they've they have seen that it, it it works so they have been empowered to do it so they every now and then they are using the same strategy every now and then they are using the same strategy and that strategy has empowered them to be controlling you. So they are gradually becoming very controlling. God says it's time for their strategy to backfire. God says it's time for their strategy to backfire. How? Because until it backfires, they are not going to change. And they are not going to stop. How is it supposed to backfire? The next time they threaten you that they are going to leave you. The next time they tell you what they will do if you don't do what they are asking Tell them to go ahead. If they tell you it's over until you do this, tell them fine. You have this. If that is what you've decided, then it's okay. It's over then. The need for their for, 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 for their manipulation to backfire, for them to, to stop controlling you. Otherwise, you are going to live according to their dictates. The truth is, they don't want to leave you. They just want you to do what they want you to do. They just want to have their way all the time. And God says it is not healthy for, your, for a marriage. It's not healthy for a relationship. Not even a work relationship. Not even a friendship. Talk less of, or, or, of a marital relationship. It is not healthy. God says it's time to deal with it. Deal with it by letting that threat backfire. By letting it backfire. God says it's time to stop. That emotional mani man manipulation is time to put an end to it. I hope this world reaches you at the right time. God bless you. Shalom.